So guys, if you can, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Smash the like button on this video and give that bell a little tickle so you know when I've uploaded the videos. So in this next news story from Norfolk, a man who murdered his estranged wife's new lover with the help of his son after hunting him down to his Norfolk home and finding him hiding in a wardrobe has been jailed. Wayne Peckham, who's 49, was jailed for 24 years after being found guilty of the harrowing and brutal murder of Matthew Rodwell, who was 39 years old. His son, Riley Peckham, who's 23, was handed an 18-year sentence for his part in the murder on January the 23rd, 2022. Wayne, who was estranged from his wife, let himself into the house that she shared with Matthew after her son Riley had climbed through a first floor window. Riley shouted, you're going to die, here doggy and good boy, before finding him in Kerry's youngest son's bedroom wardrobe in Norfolk. Norwich Crown Court heard the pair found Mr Rodwell before beating and strangling him to death at the bottom of the stairs. He was pronounced dead at the scene, I just want to say, rest in peace to Rodwell and my condolences go out to your family. Post-mortem revealed Mr Rodwell had 40 significant injuries after being repeatedly kicked, stamped and punched. His likely cause of death appeared to be manual strangulation. Mr Rodwell's blood was found on the clothing of Wayne and Riley and Mr Rodwell's DNA was under both men's fingernails. Riley's DNA was also found on Mr Rodwell's neck. Mrs Peckham had tried to get herself between the pair and Matthew to stop them. But the father and son, as we've stated, have now been sent to 24 and 18 years respectively. The jury just took 10 hours to deliberate before finding the pair unanimously guilty. So the judge, Anthony Bates, said Wayne had committed targeted vandalism to Matthew's car, stalked him on previous occasions and set fire to a coat Matthew bought for Wayne's youngest son, Harvey, and posted the video on Facebook. Riley took to his father's side against Matthew. Their visit to Matthew's house was no speculative social call. They suspected Matthew was there with Kerry and decided to do some serious harm to him. This was a brutal and sustained assault on a man in his home and in front of a partner who was injured herself. The attack wasn't spontaneous. The premeditation by Wayne Peckham is significant. So Riley found Matthew's pair of shoes at the bottom of the stairs on January the 23rd, 2022. And he shouted, Is he here, Dad? To his father outside the house. Wayne then let himself in the front door. Matthew had called 999 from the wardrobe after realising the pair were outside and told the operator he was afraid of what was about to happen. The prosecutor said Mr Rodwell from Norfolk was terrified about being found by Riley and Wayne. She said during the call made from a bedroom wardrobe in Kerry's youngest son's room, Mr Rodwell expressed genuine fear. Miss Rodwell said they thumped and beat the life out of him. She herself was also injured as a result. There was a recording from Matthew's 999 call and his last words were sorry before. There was a sound that was recorded a minute later. It was a harrowing sound. Police arrived at around 8 o'clock and could hear screaming from inside. A distraught Mrs Peckham came to the door with the body of Mr Rodwell lying in the hall. Wayne was detained at the scene after he had initially tried to hide behind a curtain while Riley escaped in handcuffs. He was caught a couple of hours later at his step-grandfather's address. Monday the 23rd, at this moment in time, you're under arrest for murder. You do not have to say anything, but it may only eventually not mention when questions are in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Do you understand? The reasons being, the guy in there has been kicked and punched to the floor and he's now deceased. Right, he's dead. The reasons for your arrest, so we can interview you for an outcome in alleged offence, but further injury for any person, safeguard a vulnerable person, OK? So, me smoking a joint out of here, don't come into it. Or your arrest is necessary to prevent your disappearance and to prevent any further harm to any other person, OK? Yes, yes. Do you understand? Not really. You don't understand? Murder. Yep. You're right. joking, aren't you? No, I'm not, mate. I'm not going to joke about that, Mike. All right. So the senior investigating officer, Detective Inspector Chris Burgess, from the major investigation team, said this was a harrowing and brutal murder. 
I know some of the evidence given in court, especially the 999 call, has been difficult to listen to. In this call, we hear the final frightening moments of Matthew's life, a life taken by the actions of two men overcome with jealousy and rage, acting like a pack of wolves. I want to thank the family and friends of Matthew for their patience, support and bravery throughout the investigation. And I am grateful the correct verdict has been reached by the jury in this case. Our thoughts remain with Matthew's family and friends and we will continue to support them as long as they need. This was one of two murder investigations launched on the same night following the tragic death of another person who goes by the name of Lauren Malt who was killed nearby. While the timing and proximity of the incidents created challenges, we had sufficient resources in place to handle the murder investigations, both of which have led to the offenders being prosecuted. The family of Matthew Rodwell paid tribute to him. They said, it's caused them immeasurable pain and heartache to all those that loved Matthew. He said, his family, friends and colleagues miss him daily. Matthew was kind, loyal and a generous man, amazing father, a precious son and a much loved brother. We would like to thank the police who worked tirelessly on the case and without them, we could be in a very different position right now. A special thank you to the officers first on the scene and the paramedics who did everything they could to save Matthew. We have had amazing support from our family liaison officers from day one and we offer them the sincerest thanks. The care and compassion from everyone involved will never be forgotten. So guys, I just want to say, rest in peace, Matthew, and my condolences go out to your family. Guys, in a new story coming from London Ways, a man has been jailed stabbing an innocent man in the head outside a pub in South London after he made a comment about his friends driving. Witness said the victim was enjoying a night out with friends at the Fox on the Hill pub on March the 12th 2022 when he was assaulted at around midnight. The victim who was in his 20s was attacked by two men Peter Hyacinth who's 28 and Ras Barton who's 27 after he made a comment about Barton's erratic driving in the car park. Officers attended along with London Ambulance Service and he was taken to hospital in a critical condition after being stabbed in the head with a knife. He is still in the process of recovering from his injuries and the trauma of this incident, police added. An investigation was launched where officers examined the car parks, number plate recognition cameras and CCTV recordings and examined social media and communications data which led them to identifying and arresting the two suspects. They had also stolen the victim's phone and analysis of its movement showed it followed the route the suspect's car had taken after the incident. Hyacinth was sentenced to eight years and one month imprisonment and Ras Barton was sentenced to a community order after previously pleading guilty to assault by beating. Detective Constable Shane Richardson who carried out the investigation said this was an extremely violent attack on a man who was enjoying a night out with his friends and highlights the harm which knife crime can cause. He's still in the process of recovering from his injuries and the trauma of this incident and I hope the outcome brings him and his family some closure. So guys, there's a couple of stories. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.